Hi guys, how's it going? It's Matt here from Devious Games and welcome back. I know I haven't recorded for a long time and I know my voice may sound strange to you due to this. Basically, I have been exceedingly busy. Um, the whole of half term I've either been up country or in another country and the only time I've had at home is like a weekend of which I've had school work and stuff. So I'm sorry that you haven't been able to hear my voice, um, and I'm sorry that it's only been Rob that's been able to upload, but this video is going to be part four of my series, How to Grow and Create a Successful YouTube Channel. So a lot of people have enjoyed this series, and a lot of people want to see it back, so that is why I am doing part four. So we're going to be doing kind of hitting record and getting that first video done, edited, and ready to upload. So, obviously by now you'll have the equipment that you need, you'll have everything that you need, you'll just need to know how to get it set up. So if you're using a capture card, um, you'll need to plug it all up, get it all working, get the software installed, get that all done, and then just kind of find a game that you want to play. So I chose Goat Simulator for this game, it's a really funny game. I just enjoy playing it, um, I think the thing I enjoy most is just finding tons of different things to explode, but <laughs> yeah, houses and stuff you can go in, where you can just blow them up, cars, you can blow them up with one headbutt, which I find extremely funny, just, uh, um, but yeah, I just need to find the game that you enjoy playing, that you're good at playing, um, and that you can commentate, like there's no point playing Call of Duty on yourself if you can't do solo commentaries, if you have to do like a dual com with someone on Call of Duty because you concentrate so much and you need to have two people so you've constantly got people talking, then find a friend that will record with you or don't record that game. Just find another game that you're also good at but you can commentate or on the other hand record and then record your voice afterwards like what I'm doing for this video. So hit and record you just need to make sure you've got enough space on your hard drive you need to make sure the quality is going to be good and you need to make sure that it is to the best of your ability this recording because there's no point uploading stuff that you're not going to be happy with because why is anyone else going to be happy with it so once you've got that recording you'll need to get the editing software and I think I've probably talked about this in a previous video but I'll go back over it again. You'll need to get a software like Vegas Pro, Premiere, pa Cyberlink Power Director, Windows Movie Maker, any of them will do. Anything and that enable you to add clips together, add sound, and add a voiceover. So in, Va in Windows Movie Maker, it's quite like really basic. So you can add music and then the narration. I'm not sure whether you can have music and a narration which could be a slight problem for you guys. I think you can have game music and a narration, but I'm not sure whether you can have a music track and narration. I don't know, you need to go find that out. But either way, you need to get it so that you can edit it, cut it down, and render it. So you'll need an intro, you'll need some royalty-free, copyright-free, all of that stuff, free music, that you can find quite easily on the internet. So to find this, just search in on YouTube copyright free music or go on to Machinima Sound which is a really good website um, and it's as easy as that once you've done that you've got it you can pretty much use that music whatever you want as long as you give credit to the artist also another one good one is Kevin MacLeod he does some really good songs and they are all free as long as you put his credits in the description so when editing you need to remember that when, after you've finished editing, watch it through and think, is this good? Would I w sit down and watch this? Would I use 10 minutes of my life to watch this video? If the answer is yes, then it's good enough to upload. If the answer is no, then probably rethink the video and re-record it. Or just do something different with it. So edit it a different way, add effects and stuff. So as you may see on my channel, if you go check that out, um, I did a video on Surgeon Sim and about halfway through I inject myself with a needle and what it happens is you go crazy so I thought you know what find some funky music and then twist the video and do whatever at that time 
so it, that I'm just telling you that because I've done that in a video and it looks quite good it kind of fits in with the game so you'll just need to make sure your recording's good your voice sounds good and you've got a topic to talk about that's what I find um, so hard finding a topic to talk about finding a subject or something that you can talk about because like it's just so hard and like I just find it really annoying to try and do a commentary when I don't have a subject to talk about because you're randomly just thinking what should I talk about what should I talk about and most of the time we come up with some really random stuff it may be funny at the time but when you watch it back through it really isn't so I just recommend finding a topic if there's something you want to talk about then talk about it as long as it's something your viewers can relate to so there's no point talk like unless or a personal problem channel, or unless it's problems that other people can relate to, there's not much point talking about it. Also, with gaming videos, um, you want to make sure that the commentaries are kept fun and you don't really go into much detail. So, like this one, I'm actually going into detail, but it's not a live com. If you try doing a life story whilst doing a live com, it just won't work because you'll be so focused on the game that it'll be really bitty and horrible. You just need to kind of let your brain go with the game and let it flow. So, after recording, um, you want to, as I've said, edit. You may also want to get an intro to advertise your channel, especially when you're growing. It's a great name to get people. Great way to get people to remember your YouTube name because otherwise it's a small name underneath the bottom of the video. Maybe add a watermark for your channel, so like your channel logo or your channel name. And possibly try other stuff like try adding a face cam. Try doing if you're doing live comms and you're good at them, add a face cam. It's a great way for your viewers to kind of interact with you as it shows your facial expressions whilst recording the video. And yeah, just make it as I like appealing to the eye as possible. So add effects, add like a like button thing in the bottom left hand corner that pops up or something like that. Just something that keeps it interesting and different rather than just plain game in your voice. So, once you've done that, you'll need to render. In Windows Movie Maker, I think you can actually export straight to YouTube, and you can do the same within Vegas Pro. I choose not to, as that does reduce the file size, that does in turn also reduce the uh, video quality. So what I tend to do is I tend to render, and then upload, rather than render, upload, which is, I think it's render, upload, it's like, or upload to YouTube, and it'll render it to about, 300 meg if I do it just as normal render or it'll render it a lot smaller if I do straight upload so in Movie Maker I can't remember what it is but in Vegas I've had to create my own custom like render setting to get it for the YouTube standards I can't remember exactly what it was a friend did it for me um, but basically uh, just get the videos eye appealing and think of like a good name. If you say something a lot in that video, name it that, or something funny happens. So I could call this Goat Rampage of Death because at one point he goes into the game creator studio and destroys it. So think of a funny name that will get people to click on your video. Because if you say, if you just have a really boring title, I don't, people won't look at that video because they'll think it's just another boring video. If it's got an interesting title and also a nice thumbnail. Like start making thumbnails, just practice. If you can't, if you're terrible at them, you can. F there's always people that are d willing to do them for free. If you give them a shout out or something, so just have a look around. You'll sure be sure to find some. So, I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this episode. Um, next episode we'll be talking about how to upload, what you need to do in order to upload, like all of that sort of stuff. And I think that will roughly be the end of the series I'm not sure um, I can't think of anything else I can write or say but if there is I'll think about it anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have be sure to leave a like rating I've been Matt you've been awesome and I'll see you next time adios